Sunday Super Bowl thrilled fans with a come from behind overtime victory for the New England Patriots, but a media watchdog group was shocked by the commercial breaks featuring ads for R-rated movies and sexually explicit TV shows. Joining us now is Melissa Henson, Programs Director for the Parents Television Council, a media watchdog group. Melissa, what ads and content specifically did you see during the Super Bowl breaks that were the most concerning? Yeah, well, what was a real surprise for us is during this Super Bowl, which is a departure from what we've ever seen in the past, there were a significant number of advertisements for R-rated movies and mature-rated television programs. Typically, uh, t the Super Bowl is the largest, you know, the, the biggest TV audience for any event mm -hmm. all year long. And you have a lot of families watching the Super Bowl together and a lot of kids in the audience. And I think in years past, uh, the networks that have aired the Super Bowl have recognized that and have tried to steer away from the R-rated mov movie ads. But that's not what we saw this year. Why do you think it was so different this year? What do you think changed? Well, um, I think it has something to do with the network that aired the Super Bowl this year, Fox, which has reputation for being very edgy. Um, a lot of the ads that we were seeing during the ad breaks were for a sister network by the by the same parent company, FX, and uh, so they were doing a lot of heavy heavy promotion for an MA-rated FX series. Well, you know, the Motion Picture Association of America has voluntary standards about not advertising R-rated movies and this kind of thing uh, that's geared when a lot of children are watching programming. Since that's not happening or it didn't happen this year, do you think now we need some kind of regulation to set in these what were voluntary standards? Well, you have to be wary of unintended consequences with regulation. So, mm -hmm. for example, we do have a TV rating system in place. Um, the MA rated shows on FX, that, that's there because of this TV rating system. But what we've seen as an in, unintended consequence of the TV ratings is that content has gotten much, much worse. And so, I, you know, whenever you put a regulation in place, the broadcasters are going to look for ways to skirt it. But I think we need to put pressure on the networks and on the companies that are promoting violent and R rated programs during shows where kids are in the audience. We need to be putting pressure on them to make sure that they know that that's unacceptable. How do you think parents can do that, can encourage studios and networks to be kind of more responsible, at least in the way they advertise and programs towards children? Well, we often say silence gives consent. So if we think this is a problem, we need to be vocal in our opposition. We need to be writing to the networks, writing to the studios, encouraging them to do the right thing, and then holding them accountable when they don't. Any specific places you'd go for them, websites, certain things? Yeah, like well, you can find uh, parentstv.org. We have lots of tools and tips for folks to take action, as well as contact information for the networks and movie studios. Very good. Melissa Henson with the Parents Television Council. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. And we thank you for watching tonight. For all of us here at EWTN News Nightly, to all of you around the world, I'm Wyatt Goolsby. We'll see you back here Monday. Good night and God bless.